All right, Dan, so what are you going to show us? I am going to show you a brand new application from Microsoft Research called Songsmith, and it's going to help me make a brand new song right now, right in front of you. So, I just started Songsmith. I'm looking at this song starter here. I'm going to start myself a new song. Next thing I do is I get to pick from 30 different musical styles. You can see there's some rock, some blues. For today, I'm going to go with this um, twist style. It's kind of upbeat. Okay. I'm going to pick the tempo for my song. This sounds about right. I'm pretty comfortable with this. So let's go ahead and record. You'll see the record button is glowing and asking me to press it right now. So we're going to go ahead and record. You're going to hear me sing along with a drum beat. And as soon as I'm done, Songsmith's going to make music for me and I'm going to have a brand new song. You sing into a microphone while the drummer plays along. And then when Songsmith makes the music, you're on your way to a song. Ding into a microphone while the drummer plays along. And then when Songsmith makes the music, you're on your way to a song. So what we saw there was you singing just along to a drum beat. And then the program used algorithms behind the scenes to match up chords with your voice. That's exactly right. These chords you see in front of you, um, which you don't need to understand in order to use Songsmith, but Songsmith picked those automatically based on what I, based on what my voice was. Now let's say that you wanted to change it a little bit. What are those sliders down on the bottom? Sure. So you see, there's a couple different ways we can let you mess around with the chords, even if you don't know what chords are all about. We have this happy factor, for example. I can take that happy factor, and let's say I wanted a sadder version of the same song. I'm just going to turn the happy factor down. You see up here, the chords, they all changed in real time. Um, and I'm going to click it again to hear a sadder version of the same song. Ding into a microphone while the drummer plays along. And then when Songsmith makes the music, you're on your way to a song. Gotcha. So now what would someone do with this once they've done what you just did? When they decide they like their song, they would uh, they can save it from Songsmith as a WMA file and send it off to their friends, post it on their web page, make a little video out of it. You can actually uh, export right to Windows Movie Maker um, so that Windows Movie Maker will start up with your song as the soundtrack and you can just press record in Windows Movie Maker to record yourself on your webcam adding video to it. You can dance around and lip sync and move your stuffed animals around and whatever you want to do to make your music video and post that online too. Great. Well, thanks for showing us. Thank you. See you later.